Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one and it's a beautiful Eastern Palace uh, envelope punch ball box and inside are two Yankee Candle tea lights which I need to slide off the belly band which I can't get hold of. There we go. And in there are two Yankee Candle tea lights. Now I can't remember the name of them. I want to say it was Midnight at Kilimanjaro or something like that. I really don't remember. Um, because I've had them loose inside another tea light, uh, actually another Yankee Candle jar, for a while now. They're in my office, they look pretty. And um, I thought, oh, I know. Put black candles inside a box and put black on it. You know, so I did. But I don't, I don't remember the name of them. No, I don't remember the name, but they were quite cheap. I picked them up off Amazon for, I think I paid four pounds for 12 of them. Um, so yeah, you're going to be paying pennies to do a pair, but I want to show you how to make the box because I just think it's rather luxurious with the beautiful gold. So what I've got is some more of the paper. Now this is single sided, the, the foiled ones. This is five and an eighth of an inch by five and an eighth of an inch, which in centimetres, a bit simpler, 13 by 13. And I'm under a punch board. Don't know which way to go around, but you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So the first score line comes at two and a half inches, which is 6.3 centimetres, and you do need to be accurate for the metric folk. And that's three and five eighths of an inch is the second punch and score line on the same side, which is 9.2 centimetres. So you punch and score. After that, don't worry about the measurements. So you're gonna use that score line that I've just created, and you're gonna marry it up to this little bit that sticks out. This is called a score guide, and you just line it up to there and then you punch and score all the way around. And you just keep repeating that. All the way around. Punching and scoring, punching and scoring. And it's quite stiff through this. It's quite thick, this paper. I'm not sure that I would call it paper, to be honest. It's sort of like toughened paper. Um, and then come around your corners off. So we don't have a corner rounder anymore, but there is one in here, which has got quite a nice arc to it. Okay, right, done with that now. So let's just, yeah, I just swept that lot off onto the floor. So fold your score lines. You don't particularly need to burnish these. Um, I think the scoring tool of the <clears throat> excuse me, the punch board actually scores a little bit harder. I don't know. Right, okay, so we've got these funny little sort of arced squares here. We need to separate these, so literally just cut up one of them, or one of the, the panels, not both of them. We're not taking them away, we're just separating, and then repeat on the opposite side. We also need to put this little hole in here. You can, if you want to, you can actually cut that bit off because when it folds up, the triangles, they're longer that way than the bases, so they, there's an overlap. I don't know, well, you can see it on here. There you go, you can see it overlapping there and there. So you can either punch a hole in there or you can cut it off. I'm, I'm gonna cut this one off. It doesn't matter too much where because you're going, you're not going to see it. You're just going to have one that pokes over. And that's actually quite sweet. Quite like that. Right, glue in those corners. So again, where we separated that panel, choose your glue carefully because some doesn't like being foiled or attached to foiled paper. And we're just bringing them around to make the box. And then my two little tea lights will fit in there. And um, I think the, the thing I love about Yankee Candle is that there is, we've got a paper to match pretty much any colour. Although typically I'm, you know, I'm using gold with black. But yeah, pretty much any colour sorted. Right, this time I'm bringing in Fresh Fig. Love Fresh Fig. I used it the other day. Absolutely love it. I won't have the whole conversation about figs again. <laughs> Or whether you can find them in the UK. But I do rather like the colour. Okay, Doug. So 
I'm going to tie a knot and a bit like my daisy project the other day I'm actually going to cover the knot um, apparently I'm doing a theme it's not intentional but it's it's nice to show the same technique a couple of different ways so what I've got over here is I've got my Eastern medallion thimblets um, I think you do find favourites within die sets that you use lots and lots and lots and that's this is my favoured pairing um, so I'm just grabbing my big shot and I've got the wrong plates out so what I'm after my magnetic platform and I have the wrong ones so magnetic plate cutting plate hard stock and then this the inside shape because I need to cut it out completely and you'll see when I do this it literally just um, it just cuts the sort of the center part to it oh my chair's bouncing all over the place and you know what I think I've got that too close to the side I have possibly got that just a bit too close. No, oh, no, maybe not. So yeah, so it's literally just done the centre. Show, showing myself here, not you. It's just done the centre part. Um, but when you come back in with the one that goes round it, and this is where your magnetic platform comes into play. Get it perfectly lined up. Yeah, I think I might have got that a little bit close to the label I punched out previously for another project. Oh, no. Just, just about got it. Okay. But that's really cool, isn't it? That is such a clever technique. Stampin' Up! makes me look good. And it makes everybody else look good too, because we all use this amazing stuff with this wonderful coordination going on, and it just makes life so easy. Right, gold faceted gem into the middle. I'm going to have a whole load of glue dots. Actually, I might go for fuse on the back. Put that, whoops, over the knot. That's well and truly stuck. And just lift those bits up. Lovely little gift with a gorgeous gold shimmer. And nice, and everybody loves a Yankee Candle. I love a Yankee Candle. Um, but yeah, I hope you like it, and I hope you like the paper, and I'm, I'm trying to use it in, in differing ways, so I have paired them together, but I haven't made sort of a, tip, a typically Eastern type project. So anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.